In today's spooky video, I'm going to show you how to paint this light up ceramic pumpkin decoration. First, I'm going to remove the battery operated light as I plan to put a regular plug in clip light in the pumpkin later. This is just a personal preference, but isn't necessary. Using a soft, smoky green chalk paint, I'm then going to paint the entire top pumpkin, making sure to get the base seam that meets the middle pumpkin, as well as the eye, mouth, and nose edges. I like to use chalk paint because it covers well and gives the piece a soft finish. After that dries, I'm going to mix some of this darker green with the lighter green and go back over the pumpkin crevices first, then bringing the color up onto the other pumpkin area. The idea is not to cover the other color completely, but to give the finish a blended but subtle streaky textured appearance. Moving on to the center pumpkin, I'm going to start with pumpkin orange paint first, being careful to get a clean edge next to the green pumpkin above. And next, I'm going to mix some red paint with the orange and go back over the pumpkin in a similar way that I did on the green pumpkin. I think the two-tone look gives them an interesting texture, but if you prefer, you can definitely just paint them one color. After that dries, I'm going to paint the lower pumpkin a soft yellow first, being careful again not to get the paint on the pumpkin above. This is quite a light color, but we will be going over it with another in just a minute. So now, mixing the soft yellow with the orange we used above, I'm going to paint back over the pumpkin in a streaky style similar to the two pumpkins I painted above. To add a little contrasting highlight, I'm simply going to add some of the soft yellow to the areas between the pumpkin crevices and blend the colors out. After that dries, next I'm going to paint the pumpkin handle a yellow tan mixture, making sure not to get the paint onto the green of the pumpkin. I decided to go back in with a smaller brush and enhance the base of the pumpkin handle to make it look more natural. Then, with a mixture of brown paint and the yellow tan color, I'm going to paint brush lines up the stem to give it texture. With black paint, next I'm going to line the eyes, nose, and mouth areas. I'm using a narrow brush and taking my time to get the lines crisp and even. 
Though this is a hand-painted piece, and imperfections can add great character to a piece. Then, I'm going to paint a curved line on either side of the pumpkin's smile. As well as some eyebrows. On the middle pumpkin, I'm painting two little dash lines on either side of the eyes. And then eyebrows on the lower pumpkin. Along with curved lines on either side of the smile. And another line on each side to enhance the brow lines. To give more contrast and detail to the design, with some watered down black paint and a fine brush, I'm going to paint lines on the pumpkin crevices. I'm starting some from the top, some from the middle, and some from the bottom to give it an artsy look. I keep the lines from going over any pumpkin face details though, so it doesn't clutter the look. To give the piece a rustic, vintage look, I'm going to go back over it with a mixture of brown and black paint in water. This dulls the vibrant colors and gives the piece a rustic, textured look. I'm using a large brush for this as it is easier to give the pumpkins a larger texture. Once that dries, I'm going to go back in with a soft yellow and add some details to the eyes. Then I'm going to continue adding detail by highlighting existing lines of the design, including some of the eye, nose, and mouth areas. The idea isn't necessarily to highlight every line, but simply add accents to them. After it dries, I'm going to take it outside and spray it with a matte finish spray, and then put the clip light into it. After I put on the finishing touches, I'll show you the finished look.